That's a really good question. I thought, I thought about wearing it, wow. you know, like, uh, like, you know, bling. Um, thank you, wrestling. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. you roll with the punches. No, thank you. Uh, I love the hit. Frank Castle is in my bones. You know, like Frank Castle is in my bones. Like, you know what? I, I can't look at this. Damn. I saw him and he saw me too. How interesting was it for you to be a part of those type of decisions? And did you also kind of learn that, you know, you can have this great story, a story that a lot of people are aware of, but when you make a documentary, you kind of need to get all those little things right too, right? Like you need to have B-roll, you need to have old footage. Like, is that is that kind of what you found that even if you have a great story, like you guys did, you still need to find all these kind of smaller moving parts to, to help tell the story that way? You, you definitely do. You know, my, my husband does this for a living and this was my first time executive producing on a doc. And obviously I feel that I grew up in this world by 12 years old, I was in front of a camera and the entertainment industry has always come second nature to me. And I, I think, um, especially when it comes to creative decisions, when I, when I toured on stars on ice, just building a show together with the company and and um, learning and building my resume that way. But obviously this was a huge next step and it was my husband who um, really has all the experience. But, you know, going through the process, it's stressful and especially during COVID, as you mentioned, you need so much to fill a four part series. And, um, you know, there were so many moving parts, so many different characters that, you know, I'm just, at, at, at the end of the day now, I, I just can breathe easy, easy. I feel like for the last year, it was either me stressing about how to get a certain skater to participate or find the French judge or how are we going to get the Russian mobster part of this. And then, you know, like you said, footage, just hours and hours of going through the database, finding little bits and pieces that will, you know, tell this story the way it needs to be told.